Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Albany, New York, with a frauditor and his girlfriend as they feel like the signs don't apply to them because they're not police vehicles. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New York State Audit here, peacefully exercising our First Amendment right to record in public and publicly accessible areas at the Albany City Court in Albany, New York. I'm also going to be stopping by on the other side of this building, which is the Albany Police Department. So we're gonna make a visit there and check things out. Many, many minutes later. I noticed that there's a uh, parking lot So we're going to see if there's any signs and what signs there are. We're going to see what they say. So well now, it couldn't be any more clear than that. Do not enter except for police vehicles. Are you stupid or something? So do not enter except police vehicles. So that's clearly a traffic sign. Hey, Daniel from New York State Audit. What grade did you graduate from? Ah, uh, but what does it matter anyway? You have just failed reading comprehension and logic. So let's go over here first. I think I hear that uh, vehicle on. We'll go check it out in a second. So I don't see any signs. So, yeah, as you could tell, there's no signs put up. All right, but they do have a sign right here that says, notice authorized personnel only. But you can see where it's located, right? I can only assume they're referring to that parking spot. Because if they were referring to this whole thing, it would be on the fence and not on the floor. Yeah, and I'm sure if you encounter a sign that says don't walk on the grass, you'll do it anyway thinking that, oh, it's not for me, it's for everybody else. So, to me, that's just storage. With that being said, we're walking inside. So we're gonna check out some of these cars before we go inside. Thought I heard. So this one looks like it's on. Pretty cool. How sad your life must be to just walk around the police parking lot filming the inside of the vehicles. What purpose does that serve anyway? Come on, tell us what it does. Does it make you feel all manly inside? Fifteen minutes later. Hey sir, can I help you? Ah, not at the moment. How are you today? Good, yourself? I can't complain. Beautiful day. It was cool this morning, but now it's warming up. Okay. Is there a reason that you're in our lot walking around? You mean in a public lot? No, it's actually a police secure lot. A secure? I didn't see any sign at all. Well, if you look, open so people can come in and out easily. well, the sign right there that you're referring to, or the, that I'm referring to, says uh, parking only for police, no, no other parking. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, say anything about uh, citizens being able to walk on it. So technically, it's public property. Okay. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, no, not at the moment. Like I said, I didn't need anything. I was just taking pictures of video. Okay. 
gathering content for a story. Can I get you to identify yourself, please? Yeah, I'm Detective Sergeant Askew here at the City Hallway Police Department. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Detective. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is Daniel. Daniel? Okay. Yeah. All right, it's just you don't usually have people walking through the lot, so I just wanted to make sure everything's okay out here. Yeah, everything's fine. You know, like, like I said, I'm just working on a story, taking pictures and video. Right. What kind of story are you working on? Uh, on a building. Pardon me, Detective, but let me explain something to you. He's just trying to gather content for his lame-ass YouTube channel. Yeah, hey, hello, how are you guys? Three or something? No, just uh, independent journalist gathering content for a story. Hi, how are you today? Good Can man. I get you to identify yourself? Got to get out of the lot, though. Actually, I was just talking to the detective. Why do I have to get out the lot? The sign right there is for cars. So as I was trying to get to explain with you, this is... Yeah, can I just get him to identify himself first? Detective, you ready? Yes, detective sir. Daniel O'Hara. Daniel O'Hara? Do you have a badge number by any chance? D156. D156? Awesome. So and the issue is... Hello, how are you? you don't like can I get you to identify yourself, please? Our stuff What's that? Because we don't want anybody tampering with our property, right? Okay? So, so you don't want me here because you don't want people tampering with the... Correct. That's what you're saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I just get him to identify himself real quick sure. so we can continue to have the yep. conversation? Can I have number 203. Can I get your name? I don't need to get that name. Well, you're a public, so he public employee. So I don't need to give he, with our policy if procedure, the only thing he has to give you is his badge number, okay. which he's done so. So, so I that's the policy. You to please exit yep. the lot now. Sir, your words are wasted on this guy. He's already made up his mind. He's not going to go. No matter what kind of signage you put up, he's just going to ignore it and walk right in. And asking nicely is not gonna solve the situation. It's our policy that we only have to provide our badge numbers to people. Okay. We don't have to provide names. So what if I wanted to file a complaint? To the office of how would I? Uh, give him my how would I know his? Give him my badge number. And yeah, I'm actually trying name. to. Have well, I'm a telling you because you asked. Yeah, but all you're, I have to do is give you my. Yeah, I'm actually trying to have a cordial conversation with him. But room. why are you being rude to me? I'm just. Daniel, you're being rude. Yes, sir. Please step outside. Of the, we can yeah, continue I, talking, but it's got to be outside. I, of yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to wonder why, because the sign says is for traffic it doesn't say there's no sign that says Daniel, what you're doing right now is trying to bait me into an argument no sir no not, not at all gonna, i'm not gonna sir you traps. came up to me sir and if you want to have an intelligent conversation with me in a peaceful manner we can do so outside i, I of this believe game, i'm having okay? an intelligent conversation because with, with you, you being that is here, peaceful with you being here right now if an emergency call is to go out there's a little risk that you could be run over by a vehicle speeding out of here like some sirens okay okay and to mitigate that risk i would like you to step out of the area where the car is drive through and we can have a conversation on the sidewalk where pedestrians are supposed to be standing all right, so why am I, could you, I want to clarify, why are you saying I'm not allowed to be here because you're worried that I, I would There's tamper? There's a handful of safety risks here. One okay. to our personnel and our vehicles and one to yourself for standing in a spot. Well, can you at least let me problem. know, because you saw the sign, you, are you aware of the sign that says? I'm not aware of the sign. Okay, so can we, uh, can you go look at it at least you or have, walk with me and take a look well, at I've it. seen the sign already. Okay. You know, I'm just trying, like I said, I'm just doing this, working on a story. I told you what the story is about, not nefarious. I told right. you my name. I don't have to. I didn't have to give you my name. Nor did I, I have to give you mine. I gave you mine. Well, well, you're a public servant, so you have to give me something. That moniker of public servant used to mean something, but now it's come to mean to a frauder, at the very least, somebody they can use as their personal servant at their every beck and call, which I find to be disturbing. Right? Yeah, something I'm going to name. Sir, well, we want to discuss this further out here. We're going to escort you out of this parking lot. Okay? You've, um, been asked, you've been asked kindly to leave on your own. I am now telling you you have to leave. Mm -hmm. If you don't leave, you well, could be arrested for trespassing. Well, second trespassing is a secondary crime. I have to commit a crime first. It is not. It's not trespassing it's, yeah. on itself. I'm, I'm, but on public property. This is a public property. Uh, pu uh, this is a fenced in secure lot. Okay. And you are inside this fenced in secure Actually, lot. Actually, it's, it's open. And there's no sign that says right, no so trespass. It'll, it'll be a violation level trespass, not a misdemeanor level because okay. the gate is open. And you so, so I just want to be clear. Okay, I just want to be clear. So you're under threat of arrest. You, you, you're threatening to arrest me if I don't leave. It's not a threat. I am telling you how the law works. Okay. I'm informing you that if your actions continue, this is the route that we have to take. So I will be arrested. That's, I just want to be clear. That's correct. Because uh, you are being told that you are committing a violation. Okay. And if you continue to do this violation, you are going to be given an appearance ticket for such and then removed from the lot. All right. Uh, and you said your name was Detective Sergeant Askew. Askew. Yes. Okay. okay. Things are all clear. You understand the consequences of your actions, but you're still not moving. Why not? Okay. All right. So uh, right now you're violating my rights. I'm going to leave under threat of arrest. Okay. Okay. Um, and before I do so, I would like to at least get this gentleman's uh, name and badge number as well as him, if that's okay with you. Sure. Hello. Can, can I get you to identify yourself? Sergeant Lewis. 
Sergeant Lewis, badge number? I don't have a badge number. Oh, you don't, you don't have a badge number? No, okay, no, thank you. And, and you, sir? Detective Norris, you don't do you have a bad number by any chance? 215. 215? Yeah, 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 we are leaving. Yes, yes. At my you said I could leave at my own will, so so let's I'm leaving. So let's not rush me. Alright. Well you can do it or we'll help you do it. You do it or help me do it. You see me walking. You see me walking, right? So why would I need help, sir? Do you want to help me physically? Is that what you're referring to? I would to? like to escort you out. So let's You go. are escorting me. Yep. But you sound like you want to go hands-on. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> sounds like you're just uh, looking for a problem. Am I? It sounds in, like In a public space? Yeah, it sounds that way. Okay. Hey, hello, how, how are you today? Can I get you to identify yourself, please? Tell, tell me back. 393. 393? Three, three. And, and your name? Your don't have to find names, man. Just badge numbers. So that's just policy you said, right? Negative. Policies, okay. just right. badge awesome. numbers. Now, the fraud editor has a foul-mouthed girlfriend right outside the gate. And you know how YouTube can be about that kind of thing, so I've got, I have to cut out a lot of other material. Uh, do you mind giving me some space? You just stepped on me. Numbers, they provide you badge numbers. <laughs> awesome. Now, the state of New York, I know the policy. Okay. State of New York, this is So, can York. you guys show me, since we're over here, show me the sign problem. that you're talking about? Like it really would make any difference in the world, but here it is again. Go over there. Or, I'm the side can you show me the? Side. I'm sidewalk either side. It's on the side. It's on the over here. But I'm gonna walk this way, so technically no, I can gonna... stand right here. I'm not in the way. See? Stay right there. No, I'm going to. Not because you said though. So, uh, where's the sign? Yeah, yeah. Please read it to me. Unless you're a police vehicle, you're not allowed to. Uh, that oh, is a vehicle so that doesn't make that sense. Is not a no yeah, that's a traffic sign. Can you watch out? Move or try and shut the gate. Can you watch out? Please move. That's why you didn't arrest him. Do you mind not touching me? Right. Yeah, you bumped me. So, what you feel like violating people's rights? Is that what you're saying? Why do you come here and look for this? I'm coming to look for what? What is the point? What is the point of what? Point to walk in here when you know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? You mean I know that you're going to violate my rights? Am I? I don't think so. Exercising our rights is not a waste of time, sir. Maybe for someone who's corrupted. Those rules. Well now, stupid is as stupid does. The sign had a clear meaning to it, and he chose to ignore it, and ended up paying the price for it by just being kicked out of the parking lot. I mean, he could have had it so much worse. He could have been arrested for trespassing. But he was playing a real dangerous game right there.